Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. I'm here at the Pura Tirtha and Pool here in Bali, Indonesia. A holy pool, holy water. Just like the Christians have a baptism. Here in the Hindu religion, they also do a cleansing bath. As you can see behind me, getting a little bit closer. Before you come in, you have to put on a skirt to go into the water, to come into the temple. You also have to do an offering before you come into the water. A donation, maybe with a little money. And then you get these flowers with some incense. You pray, a little meditation, whatever you want it to be. But today's video is going to be on purifying any anxious energy, clearing anxiety. I have so many people around the world that I work with, with energies of anxiety, where they get anxious, with people, with situations different experiences. So we're just going to be cleansing, just like the people are cleansing behind me, we're going to be cleansing the energy of anxiety. But it's not the energy of anxiety, it's what's behind that. What triggers you? Is it around money, scarcity, your kids, not being in control, but be behind what's causing anxiety? You have to ask yourself, what is actually triggering me? Notice when you get anxious, when you get nervous, write that down. What is it that just triggered me? Do I have a fear? Once you can figure it out, write a couple down, because I'm sure there's not just one. People with anxiety, there's a lot of things that trigger them. Not just claustrophobic or flying. There's a lot of little triggers. Even social anxiety, being around people, going into new experiences, change, triggers people. So first write down a couple things that make you anxious, where you get nervous, uncomfortable. Just write them down. Go behind it. What's creating it? Why do you lose your breath? Why does it close up in your throat? Why do you get nervous, uncomfortable? And then what you're going to do, one after another that's listed, you're just going to envision this cleansing water. It doesn't have to be this cleansing water. I'm just talking about the water of Mother Earth to cleanse, to wash to move through you and you and around you. Just washing that out. Past, present, and future. Flushing, cleansing, and clearing. Purifying, releasing, and letting go. Healing. Point of creation, point of destruction is re release with the water. Just see it moving through you and you and around you and it dissolves and lets go. What else creates anxiety for you? You're procrastinating getting more anxious, maybe there's a trip coming up, whatever it may be. All of a sudden, you're with a group of people. Sometimes you're picking up other people's energy and it's not even yours. A lot of times when I'm with somebody and they have anxious feelings, I will feel them within myself. I release it right away. Identify and discern if it's your energy or if it is someone else's. And then just release it. You can release it for them, for yourself, what you are picking up. So as I move around, just showing you a little bit of this temple, the holy temple, the temple of water, holy water, coming into this area, just giving you a little background, coming down the steps. I will be going in the water shortly, and people come here seven days a week, all year round, and of course they have different ceremonies, people from all around the world are here, bathing, cleansing, praying. Every day in Bali, before they get up, or I should say when they get up, before they eat, they'll do prayer and they'll do an offering. Usually the offering consists of flowers, one with some incense. They burn it, not only in front of their homes, sometimes in front of their businesses. I even noticed it at the banks, when I was at the bank. They had it at each desk. Prayer is at the center focal point here in Bali, in Indonesia. Prayer happens every day throughout the entire country. Coming into a different space here, they have a pool of fish, the koi. I'm just going to show you a little of this. So keep on focusing on whatever creates anxiety for you. What's behind it? What's the trigger? What are you not doing? Who are you around? Certain people may cause you anxiety. Maybe you should reevaluate who you're hanging out with. Maybe you don't want to be around that person anymore. Maybe just to cut cords and release that friendship gives you anxiety. Approval of other people, 
pleasing other people. Put that down on your list. Releasing, flushing, cleansing, and clearing with the water. Purifying it. Let it wash through you and you and around you. If you think that this magic can't happen just like that, you're mistaken. Write down what triggers you, what makes you anxious. Oh, the bank account's going down. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough money. I'm not gonna get a, another gig, another job, okay? I had somebody just talk about that with me less than a week ago. Flushing, cleansing, clearing. There's always enough, go to the opposite. And release that worry, release, release that fear. You see, the mind is what keeps us bottled up in the negative. But the heart and the truth is that everything is possible. And everything we get out of alignment with the heart space, the light, and we get into a head space, we get blocked. Obstacles, fears, create more fears. It's like a cycle. So I think that's about all I'm gonna say. Like I said, at this temple, holy water, I think it's gonna be raining here shortly. I could hear the thunder rolling in. I actually took a scooter here on the back of a scooter, a taxi. Being authentic with your word, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. The more honest you are with yourself and with others, the more things will be flowing as well. Flowing, like a constant stream, like a waterfall, a never-ending waterfall, like the ocean. Be authentic with your word, with your truth, to yourself and others. Here in Bali, I notice they're always hustling. I don't want to say lying, but one will quote you 300,000. 300,000 is about 721, 21 American dollars. And the next taxi person will quote you 25,000. So, you know, the more authentic, the more true, the more honest you are with yourself, the more business, the more flow, the more success you will be having as well. Okay, so that just stems into this next tier. Whatever streams through me, I just kind of roll with it. So the koi, the pool here at the temple, a little more information below. But every day these people pray, every day they give an offering, and every day I also notice they do this sweeping with this broom. They sweep, cleanse, they do it to the beds, dusting off energy. I even talked about that in another video of mine. Clearing energy in your home, sweep, move things around, get to the corners, stagnant energy, clean that out, broom sweeping. So signing out, here at the temple, the Holy Water Temple in Bali, Indonesia, it's called Abud, U-B-U-D, I believe it is. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World.